everyone! Welcome to the channel dedicated to sharing the profound insights and wisdom of Andromedan contactee Alex Collier. If you're new here, you're in for a journey that expands your mind and consciousness, bringing you closer to understanding the messages from the fifth density Andromedan extraterrestrials. For those returning, we're grateful for your continued support. Before we dive into today's enlightening content, we have a small favor to ask. If you find value in the knowledge shared in this video, please consider hitting that like button, subscribing to our channel, and clicking the bell icon so you never miss an update. Your engagement helps us amplify Alex Collier's message, allowing us to reach a larger audience with these vital messages. We'd also love to hear from you, so please engage with the comments below. Whether it's a question, your thoughts, or even just an emoji for the sake of engagement, every comment counts. We read every single comment, and your feedback is incredibly valuable to us. Additionally, if you'd like to support us further, consider giving a super thanks tip by clicking the heart with the dollar sign. This small gesture allows us to continue bringing you more of Alex's messages, unfiltered and directly from his lifelong experiences with the Andromedans. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy today's video. Yeah, this is, she's asking here. <laughs> All right, get, get your science hat on, Alex. Do you know how Nikola Tesla's free energy tower works and how we can tap on that energy in our houses? Could you explain? Thanks to you and your team for your service. Um, thank you. Um, it's, it's able to, to pull energy not only from the Earth, uh, but from the atmosphere. The Earth acts a lot of a lot of the times like a transformer, and what it does is it collects, and then it expands the energy out. He was able to figure out how to harness that energy, um, and at the same time ground it so that it was very very usable. It wouldn't hurt anyone which is why when you see him with his towers, he's sitting on a chair reading or writing notes and all the stuff is going on around him, the electrical waves and sparks and, and bolts. To emphasize this fact, there is a, if you were to have just a regular wall, a plug, and it wasn't plugged in, but you have it in your hand, and you were to take two copper wires and you join the top left to the bottom right and then you take a second copper wire and you take it from the top right to the bottom left and you make sure that the two copper wires don't touch each other and then you take an electrical outlet you take something like a a, a light or maybe your battery charger and you plug it in to this thing hold, held in your hand with just a copper wires. There's a YouTube video of someone doing just this. And it starts charging his phone. And that's because it's collecting the energy around. Oh, that's all around us. Now to add to this, there has been for years, years and years rumors that jet aircraft passenger liners passenger airplanes literally don't carry enough fuel in their wings to go the distances that they go it has been hinted it has been assumed it has been implied that at certain altitudes they go electric it's really interesting but if you if if you know how many gallons of fuel it would take to say go from here to Australia, the wings just simply don't have aren't big enough to carry all the fuel. So how is it that a direct flight actually makes it? So there's all these things that are out there, these little bits and pieces, these loose ends. Um, 
about things that are going on that we simply haven't been told, uh, have been fed false information about, is rumored, and um, but it, you know it's fascinating. If you look at the ancient buildings that we're told belong to Tartaria, the big cathedrals and the amazing towers that have all of these antennas on their roofs, these were collectors of energy. And what's interesting is that they, the powers that be, whenever they took over the planet, they decided that in order to truly enslave humanity, um, we would have to pay for our very existence in all these different ways. And in this way, they would keep us busy working just to survive. And we wouldn't have the time or the ability to pay attention to all the shit that they were up to uh, at the same time, stripping laws, in, enslaving people, doing what they're doing underground, the children, all those things. We would be so busy just trying to survive, we wouldn't notice any of these other things because all these other things would be a distraction. And obviously they knew us pretty well and um, they had done this before in other places. And I mean by that, other places, other worlds. The World's Fair in Chicago, 1893, St. Louis, the St. Louis World's Fair. They had moving sidewalks. If you've ever seen photographs, and you can find those up on the web, Nikola Tesla lit that place up. You could see it from space. And there is not one wire leading to any other building. None. It was all wireless energy. That's a hundred and almost 130 years ago. You know, one of the World's Fair was what, 600 acres? or 6,000 acres. Another one was 1,500 acres. Everything was lit up. Sidewalks were moving from one exhibit to another, all powered by electricity that he generated. Again, no wires, it was all wireless. And then of course, there's the healing frequencies that he was always working on and trying to explain to people. So, He's a fascinating subject to study. And if you still have young children, they still do book reports. He'd be a good one for the kids to, to do a book report on because he was absolutely fascinating. The way he saw the universe, the way he saw physical existence and energy was absolutely revolutionary to us, to the common people. And um, his legacy continues to this day. He's also got a, a museum dedicated to him in Colorado Springs, which is where he did his first wireless electricity uh, experiment from a tower, which still stands in Colorado Springs. He turned that sucker on and he was able to send electricity to Denver. And they had, I think, seven houses in different parts of Denver, and they all lit up, and they had power. Um, and Harriman Brown, the banker, the Wall Street banker, was there for this experiment. And he said to Tesla, he says, well, where's the meter? And Tesla told him there was no meter, this is free energy. Harriman Brown immediately shut down Tesla's work and pulled his funding because he was insistent that he that even if it was free, he was going to be paid for it. He we were going to have to pay him for the juice that was free. So 
that's when he became a threat to the system, Nikola Tesla, at that point. Anyway, I don't want to ramble. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you found it insightful, please like the video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon so you don't miss out on future updates. If you have any questions relating to today's video, please also leave them below. We read all the comments and take on board what our viewers have to say about Alex Collier's work. Remember, your support helps Alex Collier's knowledge and the messages from the Andromedans reach more people. If you'd like to support the channel even more, you can give us a super thanks tip by clicking the heart icon with a dollar sign. It really helps our team bring you more content. Also, be sure to visit alexcollier.org to sign up for our regular email newsletter. It's the best way to stay updated with the latest news, exclusive content, and upcoming live webinars. For the latest insights from Alex Collier, check out alexcollier.live. And if you want to explore over 250 past webinars, head over to alexcollier.tv. Thank you for being a part of this journey and supporting Alex Collier's work. We couldn't do this without you and we're genuinely grateful for your support. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the vast mysteries of our universe. If you would like to see the Andromedan contactee Alex Collier live via video stream, we hold a live online seminar every Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern time. For more information on upcoming live webinars, please visit alexcollier.org.